chickens and berry berry. This is the theme of the story I'm going to tell you. It is 1886 and a young Dutch doctor whose name was Christian Eichmann had gone to study with Professor Koch in his bacteriology laboratory. The young doctor was investigating the causes of beriberi. Beriberi was a terrible disease, a debilitating disease that affected the nerves, made people uh, dizzy and um, it, it led to confusion and sometimes swelling and uh, misery and weight loss and very often it led to death as well. Soldiers and sailors had been coming back to Holland affected by this disease. They were coming back from Jakarta and Sumatra. And so the government had sent the good doctor to learn more about this disease. And there, in Berlin, by coincidence, he met another Dutchman, another doctor, whose name was Cornelis Winkler. And by talking together, it soon became evident that they were both very interested in this disease and that Winkler was on a commission to go to Jakarta to investigate the causes of this disease. They obtained permission for Dr. Eichmann to join them and they went together to Jakarta. And there they set up a laboratory and they started looking for a microorganism or a toxin that would produce these symptoms in a human or a living organism. And so any animal they could find that had these symptoms, they investigated and they looked for the nerve damage that beriberi produced. And when they found it, by looking closely, they even found a bacterium. And now they had to test the theory that this bacterium was causing the disease. The way to test this was to infect other animals. But as much as they tried, they couldn't infect other animals. No other animals would produce the effects of this disease by coming into contact with this bacterium. And so their results were inconclusive. At some point, Winkler proposed that it could be a deficiency in nutrition. But the leader of the commission said that he couldn't believe that such a terrible disease was caused by misery, poverty and grief. The commission was, the group was disbanded, but Eichmann obtained permission to remain in Jakarta to go on with his investigation, believing still that a bacterium was responsible for this disease. The experiments still hadn't reached a conclusive result until one day one of the people working there came very happily or very anxious, we don't know, telling him that the chickens were sick. And the doctor, he went out and he saw the chickens displaying all the symptoms of this disease. And so he decided that at last he had the field ready for his experiment and he procured other chickens, healthy chickens, and he set up uh, cages, clean disinfected cages, and he put together the healthy chickens and the uh, chickens that were exhibiting the symptoms of the disease, hoping to see, the, to see them uh, get the illness from each other. And he also set up a control group of healthy chickens. But the results were not what he was expected. All the chickens got sick, the healthy ones and the other ones. And so he started again. He disinfected the cages. He put them, he arranged for more healthy chickens to come. But still, something unexpected happened. The chickens that had become ill were getting better. He couldn't explain these, these phenomena until one day there was a knock on the door 
And one of the people responsible for feeding the chickens came in and he looked very ashamed. He said, a new cook has come. And I must tell you that I have done something which I shouldn't have done. What have you done? said the doctor. I have been feeding the chickens the leftovers from the military food. And what's wrong with that? Well, this new cook, he said that we can't give civilian chickens military food. So what were you feeding them? said uh, the doctor. What have you been feeding them? The military, they, they, have, um, they have white polished rice. And what do you normally give, give these chickens? We give them brown rice. And we don't even, with, the, with, all the, with all the skin on the rice, and we don't, usually we don't even cook them. I thought I was giving them better food. And when did you make these changes in the food? And by this conversation and describing when the changes in the diet of the chickens, the doctor, Eichmann, Eichmann started to think that maybe it was a deficiency in the food. It took many years of observing. Of course, when they started giving them the uncooked brown rice, the chickens all became well and they didn't uh, become ill from the disease. And this opened the way to, for other scientists to search for a deficiency in the diet that would produce the symptoms of the illness and they found that other illnesses as well, serious illnesses like scurvy, were produced by deficiency in diet. It took scientists a few more years of investigating to find and isolate the component that caused the deficiency diseases. In the beginning they thought it was an amine, so they called them vital amine. Later they shortened this name to vitamin. Eichmann had returned to the Netherlands in the meantime and he gave a talk, he was a professor at university, saying that simplicity is not always the sign of truth, that sometimes the way to find truth can be long and arduous, describing his own way through the scientific process of discovering something simple and true. In 1929, when he was old, he was 72 years old and in bad health, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for his discoveries.